Hi and welcome to possibly the noisiest channel on the planet. Today is really hot, the windows open and uh, all the sounds are coming in. Today I'm going to review a camera that was released about 15 years ago. Sony HC62. So why am I reviewing this old piece of junk? Well, this was one of my first camcorders and the most beloved one because it could do a lot of things that even modern cameras really can't. It was really comfortable to hold and it even had an adjustable wristband to fit different sized hands. It also had a really nice swivel screen and a very useful range of 25 times zoom. Apart from a swivel screen, this camera also had a retractable viewfinder. Now, it's not very high resolution by today's standard, but back in the day having an electronic viewfinder at all was pretty useful. This camera was quite progressive for its time. Both the viewfinder and the monitor are widescreen and there is also a switch that allows you to change from the aspect ratio of 16x9 to 4x3. But the innovation didn't end there. The camera also maintained the same field of view no matter what aspect ratio you were using. There are only a handful of modern cameras that can do this, so at the time this was pretty amazing. This camera also uses a very effective electronic stabilization. The camera basically always operates in crop mode and has some extra pixels to compensate for shake. It works very effectively and doesn't seem to decrease image quality or introduce any noticeable artifacts. Oh, and did I mention that the camcorder comes with an AC cable, which means you can plug it into your wall and run it forever. It doesn't overheat and it also has a remote, which works really effectively and has a whole bunch of buttons to control whatever you want. Last but not least, the battery on the back of the camera is actually removable and upgradable, which means you can get a bigger battery put it in here and your camera will record longer. Do you know of any mirrorless cameras that can do that? I doubt it. Now, would I recommend picking up this camera for like 10 bucks and recording to mini DV tape in this day and age? No, of course not. Content creators have to churn out videos real fast these days and with this camera you'll have to wait the duration of the video that you recorded for this video to be copied to your computer, meaning that if you record an hour of footage, you'll have to wait an hour for it to copy. Not to mention, of course, that this camera uses older Firewire port, which is not available on most computers these days. It also can do HD, 4K, 60p or anything like that. In fact, it doesn't even do progressive video, but that's a topic for another time. So why do I like this camera so much? Now, part of it is nostalgia. I used this camcorder when I was still in school, record a lot of videos with it, have a lot of fond memories of it. But it was also fun to use, which brings me to my next point. I think this camera is an ergonomic marvel. Everything's laid out exactly the way it's supposed to be, it's easy to use, it has buttons for everything that you need and it actually has a touch screen. Imagine this camera was released in I think 2006 or 2008 and it had a touch screen, a very usable touch screen which you could uh, use to adjust settings even while you were recording, something that a lot of cameras today still don't let you do. So I guess the lesson here is that ergonomics plays a great role in how we use the product and if it's designed right, you're gonna love it even when it's outdated and uh, you don't have a need for it, just because it's so fun to use. Have you ever used a camcorder and was it more fun to use than mirrorless cameras today? Tell me in the comments. See you next time.